Hi guys, welcome back to Tap House. I'm your host E, and we have Jay here, and we got a new beer from P Fruit P Frams. I don't know. <laughs> you literally practiced the, you practiced this how to say it for like I the past thirty how minutes. To say the name of the beer, not the name of the of the brewery, but it's P P Frams Brewery out of Hood River, Oregon. Uh, I hope I pronounced the brewery right. And the uh, name of the beer is called Prums, which is Plums in Dutch. So the, this right here in the back, it says, Fruit forward with the modern plummy twist. The lambic inspired ale may even remind you of grapefruit, lemonade, drink, and rosy hints of lavender. Oh no, nutty bread and gummy candies. It's a plum delicious. It's got, it's, it's a barrel, sorry, the hell. It's a uh, year 2021 barrel aged plump ale, plum ale. And the alcohol by volume, it is... 6.3% and IBUs is 6. Look like at this guy. Study. See? But, what happens when you study? Um, uh, I have to... Oh, uh, it's because they, they, we'll, we'll post all their information on there, but they actually have a pretty, like, pretty concise uh, tasting uh, profile and uh, of all of, of... I don't know if they're reserved, because these are reserved beers. Uh, but they have a pretty good like tasting profile and history and all that and um, so if you if you if you want if you're interested in that we'll post it you can go on there um, it's got you know like you said candy plums lemonade berries and flesh flowers um, it's got it's it's got uh, Grimness Canadian Pilsner Wagner weed raw raw white weed the hops are age holy noble hops Yeast, bread, bretomycin, lactobacterial culture, and the barrels that it was aged in is French oak barrels, and of course it's got plums from Shorewood, Oregon. Um, I can smell it all the way from over here. It's actually a pretty good smell. It's it. It reminds me. I don't. I mean, I don't know if you've ever. I don't know if you've ever had plum wine. It's like this Asian wine. It never. Has, it has I've a, never had it. It has the very similar, like, sweet, like, s sweetly, sweetly taste to it. That's how, how I describe it. And of course, you know, it's got a nice little, little purpley pink hue. It's pretty there. thick for the, the Vexoxity. What's it called? It's pretty, uh... Vicosity? It's not very clear either. It's also very, uh... Vicarious? Yeah, vis viscous. viscous. There we go. And as you know, it does have it does have some type of um, they do, it does have things inside little particles of oh it does some type of I got some grape. You said grapefruit plum plum. plum. Yeah. There's no grapefruit in it. All this is um, it's just pure plums in it. There's uh, there's no grapefruit. But let's take. Right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Gotta make sure you get the head. <laughs> oh. I knew it was going to be tardy, but huh. it mellows out, it, it mellows out. It's tart, it's like a very soft tart, it barely puckers. Like, it's exactly like right when, like this is a borderline where like it's like you're, you're, you feel really sour, like the sour heads, it goes like this and yeah. it just teases you. Ah, I can taste the lavender at the very end. Whenever you start to like let the smokiness come out, the lavender comes out the end. Whatever that tastes, I've never had plum before, so maybe that's a plum too. Plum. Or grapefruit. There's no grapefruit in it. But uh, it, it's supposed to remind you of like grapefruit. Lemonade. Lemonade. I do taste it. I don't know if it's a rosiness or the I lavender. Get, it's got like a it's nutty, a nutty, for me it's got, mm. it's got like a nutty aftertaste. Like a, like a, like a very like nutty ap, like after, like very subtle, but mm. not a lot. Uh, the, the lavender gets lost in there. Of course, lavender is very, it's, it's a very like, it's a very fragile taste, so... It, I hate it lavender. Over, it gets overpowered very easily. I don't like the, I mean, this smells good, it's fine. I love lavender. But ever but, since you gave me a lavender uh, tea, it, I just, uh, the, ever since I drank it when I was sick, I just hate the taste of lavender. I can get, I can't not get it out of the, my mouth. It's just the flavors, like when, every time I taste it, it tastes like, sh like shit, if I'm being honest. I'll be honest, but uh, I do love the the, the lavender on this. is not. It's not there. It's very I, I, It's not. I can't detect it. He detects it. I get nuttiness, like an earthy nuttiness at the end. It's like a very tart, refreshing, 
bite at the start and then it mellows out like you said and then I get like earthy notes at the end. So is this uh, a, is this, so a prim, prim, is it like prim? sour? Prim. Prim is the name of the beer, it's an ale. Uh, so it's just, it's just their um, aged uh, barrel, it's just their barrel, right? Yeah. So it's not like a specific type of like thing. No. Okay, so it's just prim. Prim, it, it is Dutch a, for plum. So plum ale, sorry, barrel, plum barrel. What? Right? You know how like a, a bourbon barrel or no? It's a uh, French oak barrels. So oh, okay, so it's like so, yeah. So I, I, it tastes earthly, which is weird for for me. It tastes earthly. Earthy? Earthy. That's what I've been saying. Uh, <laughs> I've been saying this whole time. I don't pay attention to you, so bitch. Nah, but this, but yeah. at the end, it kind of feels like a medicine flavor taste to it, but like just a hint of it, which is not a bad thing. I like um, when you usually have. A, a, a sinus, sinus infection, like, yeah, right? Yeah. When you can't really breathe, like, you always drink, like, more herbal stuff. That's kind of what I get from this. Yeah, you're getting herbally notes. Herbally notes, yeah. yeah. Herbal stuff. Yeah, you know. I mean, that yeah, tart flavored gummy candies finishes with the lingering flavors and punch, beautifully integrated. And, and but it does, it does resemble a sour beer, uh, a more monotone sour beer. Yeah. And I, I like that because there are some sour beers that taste pretty good. Uh, but it's kind of hard to kind of hit that good balance, and I feel well, like I mean, this he, one is pretty. He doesn't really like sour beers. I don't. I, I I actually love sour beers. The sour the better. But yeah, this would be a good like entry point if you're if you. I wouldn't necessarily say this is a sour ale. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, but, but it is a nice it. little dip in the toe, and if you and if you want to branch out from there, then you can try out the other ones. Um, but I definitely, definitely love, like this one. Now uh, they have a, more of these barrel aged, uh, barrel aged beers. And, um, I really hope I can get my hands on some more. Uh, like again, we got these off our, our, you know, our favorite, our favorite app, Taver. Uh, which one day we will be sponsored. But, um, I, I even like their little, their little saying up here. Proudly crafted, humbly offered. That's nice. That's a respectful thing to do. Um, but I don't know. I, I I think it's a good beer. You should try it. And for what it is, uh, there yeah, it's crafted pretty well and can dice. And, and I think this could be a, a nice little winter beer too. You think so? Yeah. I feel like, plums. Well, I feel like it's more of a like a, the end of a summer beer, beginning of a winter. Like I fall. Fall, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, 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 yeah, I, I missed a season fall. there for a second there. Oh my God. Sorry, it's been a long, deliberate day. <laughs> but yeah, definitely check them out if you're local to the area or if you if you can find them, definitely pick it up if it's still there. I don't know if they sell it since it is a reserved beer. Um, so I don't know if it's out year round or, or what, but if you definitely see them or another one of the beers, definitely check them out because they are definitely pretty good. And, yeah. they have, and like I said, check out their website because they have, if you're like a beer nerd, you're going to love their website because they go into very detail, like food pairings and tasting notes, history of What's this. What's one, one of the top food pairings that you saw in there? Oh, let me, let me, I can answer that. Duck, goose, and venison. Those are their top up there. What's venison? The deer. Huh. Why, why venison? I mean, I, it seems like they're going for some pretty like, like gamey beer, like gamey meats. So I guess the so chewy meats. No, gamey. Like it's like gamey Man, taste. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> I guess because of the tartness, very cut. So you can also get some. They also put uh, pan fried chicken wings and breads. Um, so you know. a lot of like poultry and meat. Yeah. They also um, uh, interestingly enough, and I and I, I guess I can I can kind of see it, but they also uh, say that it's. Very good with Mexican mole sauce based fruits. So for all my Hispanics out there that like their mole Apparently this goes good with it. And I get it because you know the, the plums. Mole? Yeah Put this in your mole next time. Just dip it in your mole. Like the actual sauce. Maybe Maybe it'll do something. I mean we put We pour 
beer in our on our on our, on our meat. So like, well, I mean, they're not trying to pour it in there just as that it goes good with mole. But I mean, if and of course, all all the other like the like wine pairing nice tips, you know, cheese, panna cottas, you know, goat cheese, all that stuff. Not my th- not my not, not my type of taste. But anyways, uh, yeah, I definitely I would definitely pick this up again, and I don't know about you, but I would definitely try something of their brand again or a type of the beers. Yeah, definitely I'll try that again. Uh, this beer, if it's out and somebody buys it, give me some, you know? But I recommend it. I think it's a good experience to try this one. Plus you can do that fancy, you know, champagne, corky, or corky thing. Cause... Yeah, but you're gonna waste most of the beer if you do that. Yeah, Just make sure that. you <laughs> open it softly. And by the way, if you can hear my dogs, I apologize. They like to fight literally during the video of recording. <sighs> okay though. But anyways, uh, if you if you want to comment down below, check to see if you've had this. Let us know what you think. Uh, if you don't like it, if you do like it, let us know. Um, all that good stuff, you know. Like, subscribe, uh, comment. comment. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, again, school starting for me practically now, coming up on Sunday. So I'll do my best to work with my schedule and I always try to put at least, We're put at least some, uh, quite a few today so, so. I mean I would just say pop here but once in a week so just yeah expect one once a week video I don't know what day it drops I would try to do whatever day I feel like it but once a week for sure this week you'll see one tomorrow where I guess I don't know well, whenever you're much. watching it whenever you're watching it you'll probably see the video I'll see you guys next time adios I'm not a bad thing if you're washing my. You wash your mouth. You're fucking the one. I gotta set the camera. Your camera? What? What are you gonna do?